All right, this is sort of like tutoring 101, but this tip is something that most of you, when you see it, will say like, well, duh, that's what I do. But I've been surprised in my tutoring career at how many people don't already just know to do this. So I just want to spell it out real clearly on my tutoring tips page, just to like make sure that everyone's on the same page, okay? And that is, you've got to do practice problems when you're studying for a test. Do not just look over your notes. Do not just look over practice tests. And that's because the same reason you do your homework and don't just like go to lecture. It's because watching something done, like watching your teacher do problems, does not really help you. You have to do it in order to, for it to stick, right? And it's the same thing with looking over your old quizzes and tests when you're studying for an exam. If you're gonna take a math test or a chemistry test or physics, you know, something where you actually have to do problems, you need to actually do problems. Don't just look over your old quizzes, actually rework the problems from the quizzes. And I've got a great video about math anxiety that talks more about how to do better practice tests, mix up the order, make it work better for you, make it a better process. But the point is you have to work problems. Just looking over the quizzes is not gonna help you. It'll help you a tiny bit, but what's worse is it'll make you confident like, oh yeah, I remember how to do that. Oh yeah, this is the one where I, you know, simplify the coefficients in the chemical equation or whatever. And then you're gonna get on a test and you're like, oh yeah, this is the one, okay, this is one of those ones where I have to simplify, but wait a minute, how do you do that? And you'll start doing it and you'll think you know how to do it, but then you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, this one has a two and a three and a four. Can I factor out the two? Uh-oh. And then the anxiety starts to set in and you're like, you know, you have that sinking feeling in your gut. The same feeling I get as a tutor if I sit down with a student and I don't know how to do a problem and I'm like, like that's a bad feeling, man. When you're a tutor and you've got some obscure topic you haven't seen in five years, and like, oh my God, like, believe me, I know the pit of the stomach feeling that I get tutoring when I don't know something and it's the same feeling that students get on tests when you're like, uh oh, I don't actually know how to do this. So that's why practicing is so important. You can't just do practice problems. And also practice in out of order. So, you know, if you're used to just doing the quizzes from the beginning of the chapter through the end, mix it up on yourself. Make yourself up some practice tests. You know, like just, you know, you can hand write it out even. Just make up a little practice test, put some questions out of order, even flip through the book in a different order and just do a question from this section, a question from this section. But it's really important that you don't use let geography help you, you know? So you kind of want to do it like flashcards. You want to look at a problem in a different order each time and just make sure, oh, I know how to do that one. And then actually do it. So practice, practice, practice. And check your answers in the back of the book. If you're doing practice problems out of the book, check your answers in the back. Um, if you're doing old quizzes and tests, make sure obviously you get the same answer that you're supposed to get um, based on the original time you worked it on the quiz or test because if you're practicing but not checking your answers, you might be doing it wrong. So um, the only way to really just iron out all the kinks in your process is going to be to practice repeatedly and check your answers. All right, so hopefully this was, you're not even watching anymore because you already knew this, but if, you, if this is coming as like a surprise to you, then definitely check out all the rest of my tutoring videos on thattutorguy.com slash study tips. And of course I have videos covering every nook and cranny of your, class, of your math or science class as well. So you can actually use that to learn stuff and study. But um, as far as study tips go, this is one of many um, things which I sort of thought were somewhat obvious when I first started tutoring. But then I realized as time went on, like, holy smokes, people who are suffering in math or science are usually missing, you know, don't know two or three really important things about doing better. Um, so check out those study tips. Worst case, you'll go to that page, see the videos, and then say, oh, I already knew all this. And, you know, no time lost.